Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isata and today's video we're going to be doing a bookshelf reorganization vlog. I've never done one of these before. Every single time that I do rearrange my shelves, I never vlog it. Like I think once I like shifted some shelves and I vlogged a little bit of that in a reading vlog. But I've never just done a whole entire video on my process of reorganizing my shelves because I'm frankly way too lazy for that. It's time to do that. So I'm going to be reorganizing my shelves today. This is most likely going to be a two day process because I'm starting at 5 p.m. today. You know how it is. So I'm going to start off today and then hopefully finish tonight. I'm not going to rush myself. If I really need to, I will probably just finish it tomorrow. First things first, I'm going to give you guys a little look at my shelf. If you haven't seen my 2019 bookshelf tour, basically the way it, it is looking at like right now is I have the top shelf, which is this. I have a bunch of canvases and stuff and then like just like some stuff on that top shelf, like a little bit of decor. And then starting over here, let's just start on this side. These three shelves, like almost going all the way down are fantasy. The genre I have the most of is fantasy. So this this is my Harry Potter shelf and then down here I have my Sarah J Maas shelf and then I just have random fantasy here and it bleeds into there a little bit and that's kind of the end of my fantasy on the bottom actually I have a, another fantasy shelf these books used to be on that side but I moved them to here because usually I film from this angle and sometimes I sit on the floor and I like to just have some books here instead of those random books these random books down here are basically the books that I need to unhaul so I'm gonna actually be getting rid of these books and then spreading everything out oh is this a package okay i just got a package i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this in a sec this side of the shelves are kind of just other genres so this is contemporary um classics on this shelf and then down here i have like my little adult section right here and then the rest are historical fiction and then as i said fantasy down there i'm also just going to be taking some of the decor off because i'm finding that it just looks really really cluttered basically i'm kind of bored of the way they look they're currently sorted by genre and i really find that I've done like rainbow, I've done alphabetical order, I've done pretty much every arrangement that you could think of. And genre really works the best for me because I can have like my dedicated shelves, like my Harry Potter shelf, my Sarah J Maas shelf, my adult shelf. I can have like designated shelves and they're in a certain like organized fashion. So I really do like organizing by genre. The only thing I'm gonna be doing this time is gonna be shifting a little bit where each shelf is just so that when I'm filming, it looks different, it's a little bit fresh I'm gonna be switching up the decoration and most of all my bookshelves are so 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 dusty right now I just need to like take everything off of them clean them and to refresh them do a little spring cleaning I'm gonna even be taking off the fairy lights everything's gonna come off and everything's gonna be reclean and made nice let's go ahead and open up this unboxing open sesame <laughs> Stop. Rakia, what do you think of what my shelves look like right now? Um, I don't think you should rearrange them. To be honest. Why? You, you like them? Yeah, like this. Well, I'm not going to be rearranging them. Except that's really ugly. You should burn all those books. Yeah, those books I'm getting rid of. And I'm just going to space everything out and then switch some of the shelves. Like, I want to move my fantasy shelf to this side. Just because I usually film from this angle and I really want, like, my Harry Potter shelf and all that to I be think, displayed. I think what you should do, you should leave Harry Potter there. You should move Sarah J. Mass's stuff right there little woman move over and then move some other series hmm. I don't have too much of a those, plan. Those should move up. Yeah, I definitely like that bottom shelf and I want to kind of move it up. But I don't have too much of a plan for this. I'm just going to literally be going with the flow and we'll kind of figure it out as we go. Some of the stuff I just threw on there because I had extras. But what I'm going to do is I'm also going to be getting rid of and decluttering my shelves. So if you want any of the books, I'll show you them at the end. But we're going to go ahead and open up this Amazon package. I actually already know what this is. So this is not really a surprise. Really, how do I open this? Here, give it to me. Okay, just don't show, don't flash the address on camera it's sticky okay well i don't know if i'm gonna read this okay so what came in the mail was east of eden by john steinbeck you guys know how much i hate steinbeck? john steinbeck ever however you say his name i hate his I, books i love this um film. anyways we were supposed to read this for my ap lit class but then that was before we switched to online because of the quarantine and now it, she's giving us the choice of a list of books and this was one of them but i'm not gonna read that because one of the other books on the list was pride and prejudice so i'm finally gonna read pride and prejudice i don't know if i'm gonna read this we'll see i don't even know what this is about 
I really like the cover though. It's like kind of cute and peaceful. So I'll put it on my classics shelf. Worst case scenario, I'll give it to Cuddy because she loves classics. Anyways, I need to stop procrastinating and the first step is going to be to take off the lights. I took off all the decorations and it already looks so different. These are all the decor that was on my shelves and then also I accidentally already broke my vase so I need to clean this up before I come back to taking off all these books. I'm also gonna go grab my phone because I think I want to listen to a podcast while I do all of this. We are gonna listen to the Gals on the Go podcast. I should actually probably take my thumbnail right now actually. I don't know if you can tell, but my shelves are dusty. Like you can see right there. This is the mess of books right here. And then these are the de decorations right there. I'm actually gonna clean off the shelves and then afterwards, sister and I are going to the store to get Animal Crossing. Super excited for that. So I'm gonna take a break, go to the store, come back. And then once we get back, I'll decide whether or not I wanna continue or maybe I'll probably start because I don't wanna leave this mess for tomorrow. And then we'll see how far I get tonight. So I will see you guys after the store. Should I bring my vlog camera? You know what, we'll bring you to the store so you guys can see us getting Animal Crossing. So we're going to Target. GameStop, whatever it takes to get Animal Crossing. It came out eight days ago, but we're literally on a mission and we're gonna go get GameStop. So we're gonna go there right now. I'm with my two sisters. One of them's in the back, one of them's in the passenger. She said her hair is a little too ratchet, so she doesn't want to show it on camera. Uh, but question, they're here. They're here. They're here. They're here, and we are going to go grab these and then we're gonna come home. We're taking all the necessary precautions. We are not gonna get COVID 19. Intellectuals, when they say COVID 19, is that a We are going to be safe y'all let's go and i will update you guys when we're in target we are currently at gamestop she is ready to get our animal crossing and look they have a poster right there of it i have a bunch okay so we are now at target uh poor girl couldn't get the game at gamestop because it was only pickup only so they wouldn't let us in the store girl's getting distracted this aisle of decor is always so cute like i low-key want to get some decor for my bookshelf but i can't i literally have too much decor like this is so cute when i go dorm shopping i'm literally coming back to this section and getting half this stuff so cute i could put like my polaroids on here just imagine aren't you inspired honey Mel? no rakia is just always getting distracted <laughs> eight of the same item we can get the same item look how cleared out two for two the dollars. shelves are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just found this poetry collection and it's actually by a Muslim author, Sana Abueli. It has a hijabi on the cover so I think I want to get it since it's on sale. It's really interesting and honestly, one of my goals this year is to read more poetry so this would only be fulfilling a reading goal. Today is day two of reorganizing my bookshelves. I held off on continuing this video until today because I kind of finished it last night, but I really wanted to do it today when I had really good lighting. I just woke up, literally didn't shower anything. I'm just literally getting started. I put on a sweatshirt and we're gonna get started today so I can get this done as soon as possible. I have all my books on the floor, which I usually, when I reorganize my books, I put them on my bed and then I put my decor on the floor and I made such a mistake putting them on the floor because now it's super hard to kind of like walk around and stuff and i put them right in front of my bookshelves thinking oh it'll be good if i put them in front of my bookshelves because then it'll be easy for me to just pick them up and put them on my shelves because it'll be really close but now i have like no space to stand in so i'm gonna move some of my books farther back that way i have space to put them on my shelves and then we're gonna get started in putting the books on my shelves i also haven't sorted through any of my books and like put them in specific patterns so it is going to take a little bit longer at first just to get started putting the books on the shelves because I'm just going to be figuring things out as I go.
Okay, so I finished the whole left side without any of the decors, just putting the books. And I'm really annoyed because in the middle of it, I ran out of memory storage. And then I accidentally deleted the whole intro and like beginning of a vlog that I filmed. I'm gonna have to refilm that, which is so annoying. But some of that footage was cut off because in the middle of organizing, I noticed that my memory card had stopped. So we're gonna do this right side. Basically, this the whole left side was fantasy. That tells you how much fantasy I have. Like half my bookshelf is fantasy. And then for this side, we're gonna be doing contemporary on the top shelf, classics, and then adult. Just like kind of the same way it was before. I finished putting all of my books on my shelves and now I'm gonna put like all the little decor and stuff on which is gonna be a little bit harder because I tried to leave a little bit of room for things to put on but it was kind of difficult to do that because the books would like fall over if there was too much spacing between them. Usually when I do this when I'm not filming I will put the books on and decorate as I go but I figured it would be easier for someone filming to just put the decor on after everything and then I'm gonna put the lights on and show you guys how it finally looks at the end. Here is a final look at my bookshelves. So these are what my bookshelves look like. I'm super excited to finally be able to film my 2020 bookshelf tour, which is actually going to be coming soon. I'm going to be filming a bookshelf tour and a room tour. So look out for those videos in my subscription box. If this is your first time watching my channel and you're not already subscribed, I would love if you would subscribe down below to join the fam. It's free. And comment down below if you guys subscribe because I would love to welcome you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.